somebody saw them. Tim, say hi, Tim. <laughs> I gotta tell y'all about this story. Listen. Y'all, I'm so nervous. I'm getting ready to get on live with TNTM. I'm just so nervous. Like, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't want to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna get ready. T just called me. She was like, I'm nervous. I was like, bitch, I'm nervous too. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna do just fine. It's it's casual, casual, nothing too major, you know what I mean? Come on, walk with me, talk to me. We're gonna be just fine. I'm about to start getting ready. I'm about to do my makeup, set up, and Get ready. I'm gonna call them 10 minutes prior to the live just so we can work out any kinks, iron everything out if anything comes up, all that good stuff. I think we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. It's just a talk, it's casual, it's casual. I'm nervous. We got so many good questions in our questionnaire post that we put up on our stories the other day. Um, we shared all the questions just, just to make sure that we're not reiterating the same questions um, and just to be prepared for the questions that we need to answer. But um, yeah. My heart is beating. I'm gonna be fine. It's okay. I'm gonna be cool. So I am in my closet on the floor. Please just mind your business. But I just got off the live with T and Tam, and like it was so fun. We had such a good time. We pretty much answered all the questions that we received, and we were able to elaborate on some of the questions and give some insightful, really insightful information. So I really do hope it helps those of you who all are on your journey into influencing. Um, being a nano influencer, a micro influencer, whatever the case may be. I just really thought it was important to highlight where we are in our journey right now. Again, like when you look up things on how to become an influencer or how to get brand deals and stuff like that, it's always people with thousands of followers, which is okay. But how can I relate to that as a nano influencer? How can I relate to that as somebody who is not in the beginning stages of influencing because I, I think I'm past the beginning stages, but as somebody who is clearly making a comfort, conscious effort to build up her platform. Uh, if you want to watch it, please feel free to do so. The live is saved on my Instagram page. Uh, and I it's an hour long. It's a little over an hour long, but I wanted to make sure that we stayed on the live for at least an hour to be able to answer all the questions and to make sure that this first live was insightful and impactful as, as much as possible. So. Yeah, so much fun. Thank you so much to TNT for joining on the live. This was fun. I'm so happy I did this. I'm, it was out of my comfort zone, but I definitely feel like I'm good to talk. Like I'm good for talking. <laughs> I feel like I could talk somebody ear off low key, depending on the conversation. But yeah, again, if you are, a f what, what? And if you are from Instagram watching this and you did see the live and you joined, thank you so, so much for joining. Like it's so appreciated i like i don't really know what else to say to that but yeah anyways i'm about to go take this makeup off bye y'all hi everybody today is tuesday i'm always starting a vlog on a tuesday tuesday august 24th i have some really exciting things to do this weekend so i can't wait to take y'all along with me I'm currently at work but i just got a notification that my shoes have been delivered from nike and for a, for a minute now, I thought like FedEx stole my shoes <laughs> because the tracking was not updating. I just kept seeing the same date from last time. And like normally Nike doesn't take a long time to ship off shoes. This definitely took, I think like a week for it to get to me, which is the longest I've probably ever had to wait for shoes to come in from Nike. But I'm excited about to go downstairs so I can go pick it up. And then I also, um, have the Be Iconic hat, the trucker hat that I purchased in the mail that I'm gonna go get as well. So I'm gonna do a few, I'm gonna go to the front office and I'm gonna go to my mailbox and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all a cute little unpackaging and unboxing. So I'll be right back. Okay y'all, so I definitely got more packages than I expected, but all of them, I remember what I bought. So, <laughs> and I knew I was telling myself, I was like, go downstairs with your cart because you have to go to the front office then you gotta go to your mailbox. But I only expected to just have one thing, the Be Iconic hat in the mailbox but I had two other packages that I had ordered that made its way to me as well. So this is everything that I bought and I'm really excited to share with y'all. Give me a second. Let's go ahead and unbox one of the first packages, which is going to be from Etsy. This is the pair of shades that I purchased off of Etsy. Um, the brand is called Shades by Steph. And these are the Lueve dupes that I picked up from her 
One, because I didn't pick them up from a black owned business when I went to the Atlanta streetwear market. So I was like, if I didn't pick it up from them, I'm gonna find me another black owned business to purchase from. So I decided to go with them when I found them off of, off of Etsy. Here is the box, or here, how, here's how it comes packaging straight out of the box. Very cute. And she was a she responded very very quickly this is how it looks oh so cute thank you for supporting my small business and it comes wrapped in tissue paper with a note and a um sunglass holder to protect the sunglasses i'm gonna read the card first to see what it says ah thank you for your order i appreciate your business and hope you'll enjoy the purchase Here's 15% off your next purchase. Thank you, 15. So here are the shades. They are the Lueve dupes, like I said before, in black with a white frame going around it with the yellow tint. I think these are super cute. I'm so glad I purchased them. And like I said, I was able to purchase them from a black owned business. So I will leave her store down below if you all are interested, along with her Instagram handle and things of the sort. Next up, this is a package from Be Iconic off of Instagram. I most recently found her on Instagram and I just loved her story. Like I purchased this hat simply off of the strength of her story on her About Me page. And then also, I don't know, just something about her on Instagram. She just gives me like good energy, good vibes. And then on top of that, like I said, I've been wanting a trucker hat for a minute. So here it is, packaging slip. And then it's packaged so cute. Look at this. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, this is nice. I love the stitching. I love how the stitching is like a cream color and not white. Oh, this is cute. Let me show this on my Instagram real quick. All right, y'all. So here is the hat. This is too good. How oh, good. It's too good. This is the hat. It's a trucker hat. Oh, cute. Again, I like hats that have a bit of a structure to it. So trucker hats normally have like some structure in the front and then the mesh portion in the back, which I really like. I think it's nice, but this is cute. Look at that. And this is perfect for the fall time. This color is very, very nice. I like this. I will also leave her link down below. Ego official. <laughs> Again, they sent me a tracking number, but that tracking number never got updated. And I never got a notification when it got delivered. How many times are we gonna talk about this? We know Eagle Official by now. At least we get our package, right? We get it. So if you watched my last vlog, then you know I bought some black dad sandals from them in a size seven. That is my normal size. That is my size in women's. But for these dad sandals, the way that they're, um, the way that they are is the fit true. It fits true to size, but because there's a Velcro strap on the back, it kind of pushes your feet forward. So my toes were kind of like touching the very brim of the dad sandals that I got in a size seven. So I just decided to go ahead and size up and get a size eight in your basic beat up Eagle official box. <laughs> Nothing new here, y'all. And these are in a size US eight. These are the size eight. Same shoe as before. Let me try them on real quick. Yes, these are better. I'm not gonna show y'all right now because you know, my toes ain't looking that great. I got a horrible, horrible pedicure. <laughs> The last time I went to the nail salon, which is in my last vlog, it was such a horrible experience. So much so, like the lady didn't even put a hot rag on my legs. And that comes with every, for the most part, every pedicure service that you get. And I was telling her, I was like, y'all don't do the hot towel. She was like, no, I was like, what? Anyways, these are size eight. So if you do plan on getting these Ego Official shoes, I would highly, highly, highly suggest getting a size up. They don't come in half sizes anyway, so you can do a half size, but. And these are packaged much nicer than my size sevens. I, I will say that. <laughs> All right, now for the big balls. My shoes are from the sneakers app. The first thing, first things first, straight off the bat, I think Nike is hearing us out and removing the Nike sticker from the box because this box is so discreet. There is no Nike label anywhere on it whatsoever, which I'm fine with y'all. Like I don't keep, the cardboard box anyway i don't keep the nike sticker like what's the point so please don't give me the nike sticker don't give me none of that now these sneakers i'm so freaking excited about these shoes y'all y'all don't get it this is the box this box is freaking huge i'm kind of scared <laughs> why is this box so damn big these are the nike air max furiosa nrgs and the size seven in women's i'm so nervous like why is the box so freaking okay Ooh, the shoes don't fill in the box <laughs> at least because look i'd have been like bro these are not gonna fit look at them they're so cute 
Y'all, look at these. Oh, wow. Look at this felt material in the back and in the front. The colorway, the, the, the shoelace in the back. No, these are too good. They have the recycled sole, like for those um, trash sneakers. They have the same type of sole. Like, what is this? Is this too good to be true? Because I honestly thought these shoes weren't gonna make it to me. <laughs> I thought somebody stole them. Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna try these shoes on. Give me one second. Y'all know I'm gonna get a sock. I just hope they fit. That was the nerve wracking thing about getting sneakers online. It's like, are they gonna fit? <laughs> are they gonna fit? Should I wanna have size down? Like, these are all the things that I get nervous about. I do purchase shoes because I can fit a six and a half. These fit like on point. No, these are too good. I'm about to be six feet tall in these shoes because of the platform. No, y'all, I gotta show y'all these shoes. I gotta show y'all these shoes. Hold on. Look at this. And they're so plush, like. You see, if y'all have watched my vlogs, y'all always get the good stuff first because, well, not necessarily first, but y'all get the good stuff. Like, y'all get the try on parts and all that. E, like, what the? Oh, oh, yeah. Sneaky, sneaky bitch. Not you buying things that go together without knowing. What is that? Y'all, I have to show y'all this big ass animal on my freaking... No, y'all have to see this. Look. Ew. I'm not going out on the balcony ever again. <laughs> Stinking bitch. It's too good, it's too good. <laughs> I feel crazy. Okay, let me make sure. Y'all, this shit is so big. Get your ass away from my shit. This, this silhouette of this shoe is, uh, it's too good. All right, y'all, so if there's anything else that I'm doing for today, which I really, y'all, I keep saying this, but I need to clean my closet. I need to organize my closet, especially that I got new things. I need to be able to organize my stuff, so. Hey, everybody, today is Friday. Last time I spoke to y'all, I think it was like Tuesday. But today is currently Friday. Um, I don't normally vlog during the week. Oh my gosh, just forgot that. But I don't normally vlog during the week just because I don't really be doing nothing during the week. I just be at work. I don't really leave the house or anything like that. So I just wanted to check in and just say hello. I hope you all are well. I just purchased um, Daria or D Lolo. If you follow her on Instagram, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I just purchased her um, cartouche necklace, her creator cartouche necklace. Uh, and it looks just like this. I went ahead and picked it up. It's, first of all, I love Daria. I love D-Lolo. So I had to support her in any capacity. Like I had to support her, period. I also really like the necklace. So the necklace says creator in, in Egyptian hieroglyphs. So each hieroglyph stands for a letter in the word creator. So, I mean, it kind of fits, right? I'm a creator, I'm a content creator. I really like the necklace. I love D-Lolo, so it's like, yeah, I'm gonna buy it. And I just want to say, like, it's it's kind of crazy how you can never meet a person in person, but still feel like you have some sort of connection with them. Wow, this camera's gonna die. I mean, rightfully so, right? I didn't put on the charger. Yeah, I've never met her in person or anything like that, but like, I just love her personality. And she just seems so down to earth, very chill, very laid back, but about her business, like, that's what I like. She's just so chill. Like, if y'all follow her on Instagram, then you'll know she's super chill very laid back and i really really enjoy that about her and she's fucking hilarious and so yeah i was like yeah she coming out with this necklace again i have to i have to get me one so i just purchased one. Oh, that's literally my alarm for her necklace <laughs> tam my natural high is in town super excited about that we're gonna be linking up hopefully this hopefully it doesn't rain this weekend i'm gonna put this 
laptop laptop i'm gonna put this camera on the charger so that way when i pick it up i'll be able to have some juice to be able to talk to y'all i kind of cleaned up a little bit of my closet not really not really at all but yeah y'all um that's it i'm just gonna be at work for the rest of the day and you know do a little bit of chores y'all know fridays are my cleaning days so i'm gonna clean up my apartment to go into the weekend on a clean slate um and yeah and i have to worry about it but i will talk to y'all later so it's later on in the day it's still friday i went to publix and ross real quick for a few things um at ross let me show you what i got at ross i found this really cute flannel and it's in this colorway here this light is flickering that's so crazy i was just watching janae's vlog and her like kitchen light was flickering and i think it like completely shut off or something like that also from ross ross i'm at ross right i got two candles if you follow my instagram if you've noticed i pretty much ran out all, ran out of all of my forever mood candles by jackie Anna, so i was like this is perfect like i'm in the season to bring in some more warm candles and um yeah i was excited i was just like you don't need to buy more candles. You already have like four of them at the house. You'll be fine. So I've been holding off on candles. I haven't bought. I don't think I bought a candle since I bought the Jackie Ina set. And I have two sets from her. Anyway, but I got the patchouli and current candle. I don't know what this brand is, but I like the packaging. If the packaging isn't cute on a candle, I don't care how. Depends. It depends. It really depends. If I can't find the same scent or the scent is super unique, then yes. But if the scent is like, you know, your basic mahogany teak wood or teak wood and something else, and I can find it in a different brand with a different packaging, I'm not going to get the one. I'm not going to get the one that I don't like the packaging for because I have to look at it. I like this packaging. I like the wooden um, top part. And yeah, this is by the brand W and L. And then it smells really good. This is patchouli and current. I know that a lot of people don't like the scent of patchouli, but I do. Then I got my like fall winter scent. It's about to get real, okay? I just love warm. I love warm smelling candles. So this is one of them. This is cloven wood scented candle. Honestly, if a packaging has like a cranberry color or like a deep red color, I'm automatically gonna start smelling it because when i think of fall winter i think of deep reds burgundies maroons like that's what i think of right so <laughs> christmas colors so this is what i got i got the cloven wood scented candle this is what it looks like this is the top it smells like a woodsy fire cranberry mm. Those are two candles I got. This was $7.99 and this one was $7.99 as well. And they're pretty big. This is a three wick candle. Then from Publix, I just got like typical things. I just got some chips for some dip. Pork chops, cause I'm making pork chops tonight. I got hot Italian sausage. I don't like sausage at all. I don't like sausage patties. I don't really like sausage links. It has to be a specific type of sausage and this is the type of sausage that i like like i know these are sausage links right but i don't cook them in you know this shape i squeeze everything out and i um ground it kind of like ground beef and that's how i like to eat sausage i also don't even like little sausage bits i don't like it it's just specific types of sausages i will eat like this one but i'm not gonna eat a sausage patty i'm not getting sausage egg and cheese on a sandwich ew i'm not doing it <laughs> And then I was walking through Publix and I seen, I don't know why, I just seen the French pancakes to go with a hint of sweetness. You can eat them like, you can eat them straight out the packaging or you can warm them up. I'm definitely going to warm them up. But I was like, that's just interesting. Just to kind of like have me something to eat real quick in the morning for work because like I said, I, I do horrible in the morning when it comes to breakfast. Then I wanted to make me a really quick fruit bowl. So I just got two apples and two pears and uh, a potato. And then I got heavy whipping cream because heavy whipping cream is my life. And a head of broccoli. Tam is in town. Very excited to meet up with her tomorrow. I made reservations for us to go to Osha Thai because she's obviously never been. Has she ever been to Atlanta? I don't think she's, I don't know if Tam's ever been to Atlanta. I was like, after our live, I was like, girl, I have to take you to Osha Thai. I think you're gonna love it. You're gonna like it. We need to go. She's like, girl, I'll do whatever you wanna do. So. We're gonna go. I think it's gonna be her, myself, and um, T. I think T is coming because I made reservations for three. 
So that'll be that. And then afterwards, I don't really know what Tam's gonna wanna get into, what she has in mind, but I'm down for whatever it really doesn't matter to me. Um, we can honestly do whatever she wants to do. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready to start cooking. I'm gonna clean the um, pork chops. And yeah, that'll be it for the rest of the day. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. I gotta tell y'all about this story. Listen, here I am getting ready to meet Tam and T for lunch. First of all, y'all know the nail situation. My hands look crazy right now. My hands look crazy. So I was sitting in the house trying to put on these press on nails. Press on nails weren't working because they're press on nails, right? Like, when do, when have press on nails ever worked in a rush? You know, so I was like, forget it. Pop, pop, pop them off. <sighs> trying to figure out what bag to wear. Then I was like, bitch, I am trying to get there, okay? Then I tried the GPS to see how long it's gonna take me to get to... I have to switch lanes, you idiot. You don't see me trying to switch lanes? Anyways, then I'm over here trying to figure out how long it's gonna take me to get to the thing. I'm on my way. I'm driving, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Then all of a sudden, zoom, you forgot your wallet. You know what? It's so crazy though. I said to myself while I was switching out the... Not, not switching out the bag because I didn't even switch out the bag. While I was getting the bag to wear, I was like, bro, don't forget your wallet. Don't forget your wallet. Boom. Forgot the wallet. How? While I'm driving to get there, now I got to make a U-turn to go back to my place to get the wallet that I forgot. So instead of being... 30 minutes late, I'm probably gonna be an hour late. And I already texted them, like, when I knew I was gonna be 30 minutes late, I was like, bro, y'all just go ahead and get started without me, please. Just go ahead and get started without me. Like, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just like all over the place. But like I said, I'm not gonna try to, I'm not gonna kill myself to try to get to, to the restaurant because it's not that deep. This has never happened to me. I've never been this late. Like, I've, I've been late before, y'all feel me? Like, I've said that in a vlog before. I've been late before. But I ain't never been this late to the point where it's like it's coming up on an hour being late. So it is what it is. I'm not tripping over it. If anything, I'll just find me something else to eat. And again, I've been to Osha Thai, so I really just wanted to go to have Tam be able to experience Osha Thai. So hopefully she enjoys the food and the drinks or whatever. But um, yeah, like I said, hopefully we'll do something afterwards where I'll just pick me something up quick to eat. So it's not that big of a deal. The wallet, bro. Like the wallet, bro. You did me bad. Damn. Say hi, Tim. With tea as well. Tim ordered some calamari. Mm -hmm. We all literally ordered the same exact thing. Not on purpose, though. Um, I didn't know that one of the items could be ordered during this time. So I was like, let me just get it. Now me a drink. Um, this is Sony ZB1. It's cute. It's compact. I like it. <laughs> no, you the celebrity. <laughs> this looks so good. Oh, so good. We literally have the same thing. Crap, all right. We all saying the same thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah, it's so good. Like, Uh, it is so hot. 
Oh my god. Shot. <laughs> I was thinking it was gonna be like weak and not as strong because it's just a daiquiri. We've just been drinking and eating the same okay. thing what pretty much. The frozen daiquiri. Frozen daiquiri. Oh, it's hot. How does it fit? I'm so excited to be with my girl. Hey. I am. <laughs> <laughs> We're on drink number two. Tam got drink number two. A Dominican margarita. Mm -hmm. Tea over here with her second drink. Me and T kept it real simple, okay? We went ahead and just got the, <laughs> the same drink. The lightweight stayed, stayed, stayed in her lane, okay? In <laughs> the big dog over here, she said, this was weak. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> so we were sitting here talking and saying how like saying how I would need like five shots to get me right. Tam said I can only do two shots. Two shots. But she but she could drink four drinks. Not strong like not water down fruity drinks. Strong drinks. <laughs> I need like jack and like a little splash of lemon. Four of, like them. Four of them. Four of them, though. High five. Damn. Okay. Damn. <laughs> T said she's good with one. one. Right? <laughs> Two. I'm, I'm gonna be lit. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to. I'm trying to brace myself with this. See, at least because I felt her it. Bank don't be I heard it. it. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. My bank hurt. <laughs> T said, give me one and I'm done and I'm fine. T is a cute drinker, okay? T don't need too much to get her right, okay? Know I'm she knows her limit and it's fine. You it know? is fine. It's okay. I wish I was like that because uh, it gets expensive. <laughs> it gets expensive. Hello. Hi, everyone. Today is Sunday, August 2022 because clearly that's how fast we're moving. August 29th. Yesterday was just a very fun filled day kind of like very chill, but very fun if that makes sense It's my first time meeting Tam y'all. She's beautiful in person um, She was just It's like we it's like it wasn't even our first time meeting. That's how it felt to me, but um, Today I didn't I didn't have any plans, but uh, We're gonna go ahead and head out and go to brunch going to the hive buckhead yesterday tam t and i went across the street from osha tie to the hive buckhead because it's right across the street and we were trying to go for happy hour like to see if they actually had a happy hour and they were like oh you ain't got no reservations like you can't come in so You don't know the damn word. <laughs> okay, so we're leaving the Hive Buckhead. We had such a great time. The food was good. What are we giving it, babe? An eight out of ten? I did eight. Oh Lord, it's an eight out of ten. So we left um, the Hive at Buckhead, which was pretty good. We give it like an eight out of a 10. Now I'm over at Croc Street. Wow, I look like a greasy ball of mess. Oh my God. I'm about to meet up with T and Tam. I think we're gonna go somewhere else as well. I'm really not, I don't really know. I'm just meeting up with them just to see Tam um, before she heads out and goes back to New Orleans. It's 
So hey y'all, I'm editing this vlog and I wanted to just throw in the D Lolo necklace that I mentioned in this vlog. <laughs> um, but this is how it came packaged. So freaking cute. And this is the actual necklace. Like look how nice that is. And I've worn this a few times since receiving this necklace and it just works so, so well with a lot of my outfits. And I love that the pendant is a long pendant and it just works. It just looks so good on me and I just love it, really. I love it so much. So yes, this is the Creator Cartouche necklace. It just simply says Creator in Egyptian hieroglyphs. So I just thought it was really cute. And like I said, I wanted to support her. So all right, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Thank you so, so much for watching and supporting this channel in the capacity that you do. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next vlog. Bye y'all.